So this is Police Shootout, but this is the prologue for Police Shootout. We're going to be looking at the prologue a little bit early than when the prologue does release. Uh, thank you for the publishers that let me get a hold of this game on the prologue. Uh, easy, like, you know, before <laughs> the prologue comes out. I don't know what the actual release date is for the full game when it does finally release, but this is put on your uniform and get ready to respond uh, respawn the most surprising calls in your policeman's career. Solve cases and gain experience, but also find out why a good young policeman gave up his career in a big city and moved to a small town of San Andrino. A Adorino. Adorino? Adorino. This game is developed by Games Incubator and published by Games Incubator and Playway SA. If you guys want to see this game come to the channel when it does release, you let me know. Hit the like button. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. And let's just jump into this. Yeah. Ah, yes. Hello. The new guy? Sure. The chief says you're stubborn as a mule. Uh, well, thank you. Wait, what's your name? Price, right? Scott Price? Whatever. I'm Captain David Summers. Oh, well, it's good to meet you, Captain David Summers. Apparently, you wanted to move to us yourself. What is it? What are you looking for here? I'm just looking to be... Uh, I know I moved here from another city, but, like, honestly, I just want to be, uh, you know... You're not gonna say? Well... Okay, not really my business. All right, you kind of cut me off there. That's fine. There's a report. A fender bender or something. Check the system and get to work. All right, fender bender. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Fender bender. Somebody rear end. Somebody... Not a big deal. So new mission. Welcome to the map menu. You can choose your mission here. A new mission is marked with this symbol. Right. Okay. Uh, this is cool. I like this map layout here. This is really neat. Available missions. Missions accomplished and menu. Missions completed. You can also repeat the mission you have done before. Oh, that's interesting. Police headquarters. You can also go back to the main menu of the game. It is marked with this symbol. Right. Uh, let's go to the parking lot brawl. That must be how the how everything started so there was like a little bit of rear end action and then bam fists were thrown you hit my kia you son of a bitch and then bam maybe you know i don't know <laughs> okay police car equipment in this police car you will find a police computer and first aid kit computer gives you the information you need to know about the report you responded to first aid kit thanks to it you can reel or you can heal part of your injuries you received during the mission. Oh, that's good, I guess. All right, so here we are. Welcome. We are here. Hi. These must be the people. Should I use the computer first? Let's see. Uh, parking collision outside of a supermarket uh, location, San Andrino. Uh, report a collision was reported in the parking lot outside of the local supermarket. Involved in the incident is two people. Right. All right. We can do this. All right. Let's step on out here. Uh, new radio report. What's that? Click on radio. What's your report? We are now on scene here at the uh, local uh, Safeway. Dispatch, we're here. Show me 1023 at the Safeway. Information has been reported to headquarters. We are now 1023 at the Safeway, parked like a jackass. Right. All right. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good morning, sir. I'm Good the morning. One reported our little accident. Oh, you are. Okay. You're the one that called. Fantastic. Oh, so what actually happened, sir? We should probably, like, step him away from the other guy. <laughs> we should probably separate so we can hear both sides of the story. Uh, unbiased. Okay. Pulling out of the parking lot, okay. and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. Okay. Were you? Who had the right of way here? I'm not going to ask questions. I'm going to listen to what you have to say. Are you okay? Do you need uh, EMT? Do you need medical? No, come on. It's just a fender bender. Basically a scratch. But the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Okay, so you guys, like, refuse to, you know, give off insurance cards, whatever, all right? Yeah, all right, then uh, get your papers ready while I talk to the other gentleman, please. That's your car? I thought, wait, no. This, you're just waiting. This is not just a scratch. This is actual real damage. This is about, like, a three to $5,000 repair. You said this is a scratch? You're suspect, dude. Hello, how are you, freaking shorts and sandals? Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? That I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. Uh, just take, just take it easy. Look, he hasn't, he hasn't pulled out the gat yet, right? This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. 
Okay. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him. But, you know, it's a waste of my nerves anyway, right? Again, I would have to disagree with you barely hitting him. This is like a $5,000 paint job on the side of his friggin', I don't know, what is what is this, like a little Prius he's got going on here? Yeah, sure, you know, I have to report it anyway, fill out the paperwork, so get your paperwork ready and we'll, we'll talk soon. Sure, you got it. Fantastic, great job. All right, new assignment. Yo! Hey! Uh, uh, headquarters, radio? Report gunshots, there's been shots fired. Uh, I guess base send backup. There were several shots fired at the local supermarket. I'm going inside to assess the situation Copy that back up on the way. So there's two different kinds of police officers in this situation uh, Gunshots in a grocery store. Some would wait for backup. Some would go in. Yes, that is us. We are going in uh, Right, so gunshots Okay, uh, excuse me, ma'am. You might want to keep running Shots were filed. I, I will say like this game it's not loud enough. Send it. Bring it back. I want to, I want to blow my ears out here. Um, please. Help me, please. My daughter was left in the store. I ran out as soon as they started shooting. I was sure she was right behind me, but... You ran out of the store without your daughter? Um. Did you maybe think when you were running down aisle two that you didn't have your daughter in your hand? Or maybe when you got to the registers... I don't have my daughter or maybe when you got to the doors I don't have my daughter what the hell is wrong with you okay calm down I'll go find your daughter when the shots were fired did you see her again yes she was with me I started to run for the exit I turned around and she was gone oh, Jesus please find her before they get her I will work on it I'm disappointed in you Allison I really am besides the fact that they fired do you know anything else here can I have a 21 questions with you now that there has been shots fired in the Safeway I'm so sorry I don't know I'm so scared for my Camille okay all right just keep running like go just go don't stand outside all right all right this is this is the time we pull out the gat say so shots fired we have no idea what to expect all we know is that there's a suspect inside with a gun. And apparently today we're buying cuteness. Great job. <laughs> this is the weirdest layout of any grocery store I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, What the hell is going on? Oh, sir. Hello, sir. Psst. Yeah. Hello. Are you all right? Shh. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. Sir, I'm the one with the gun. Don't ever talk to me like that again. <laughs> they, the attackers, the ones who shot? Yeah. They're going around for someone else to shoot. Uh, what? Okay, that's not good. How do you know all this? Uh, do you know anything about a missing child? Have you seen a little girl? She disappeared from her mother's sight while running from the store. What? A girl? I don't know. And there's, I know, oh, it's, I it's very... Bizarre, but right. someone definitely ran into the restroom. Maybe it was her. Okay, it's a very hard... Yeah, I know, it's a hard question to, to answer there. Anything else? The longer we talk the more likely they are to find us. You're right, sir. Um, you know what? Are you all right? Do you need medical? I'm okay. I hid. Do you oh. think I can get out of here? I'm afraid they'll see me and... You know what? I came in just fine. I think you could probably walk out just fine as well. Uh, don't move for now. It's not what safe. What horror. Yeah, I, all right. You, your, your voice acting is really giving it away here, Bob. Uh, you can't stay here, I guess. I'm out of here. Aren't they going to shoot at me like I was some sort of duck? You know what, Bob? I agree. I just told you not to move, and now I'm telling you to move. I am so indecisive as a police officer now. Now I'm questioning my ability. Uh, please wait. I'll come back. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I cannot decide what to do with our first, like, victim here. Okay, somebody is dead by the watermelons. All right. Okay. All right. Um, somebody is deceased. Neutralize the threat. Okay, right. Uh, we'll see. Where is the threat? I'm not even... Getting, he, he, we have a... Can we call this in? Radio? Uh, radio? Really, we can't call a damn thing in? Um, are you sure about that? Uh, we have somebody dead next to the... Next to the... Oh, shoot. Yo. Is that a guy? Sir? Put down the gun! Put the gun down! 
Put it down. You raise that gun, I will shoot you. I will shoot you. A cop? You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? The Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? I'm sorry, sir. I'm a police officer. We do not call ourselves dogs. We are pigs. Get it right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry. Friggin' Jerry Seinfeld. Drop the gun and get down. Yes. I hate cops. Okay, this is bad. All right, all right. Jerry, Jerry, you're taking it to a next level. Okay, we need to first, like, I don't know, maybe grab some cover. Can we go there? Yes, go go there. Send me there. Send me there. I'd rather... No, okay, that's not what... Yeah, you deserve to shoot me on that one. That was idiotic. Why did I just crouch for no freaking reason? Go there! No. Yo! Yes. Pull out the shotgun. Yo, that's a big hit, dude. Um, F. Yep, we're gonna get shot again. You didn't think I'd bring a shotgun into a grocery store now, did you? My good man. Uh, re let's report that. Radio. Radio that in. Mafia? <laughs> uh, well, report is there is a dead civilian. I have a body here, probably one of the hostages. Where's my backup? It's pretty bad. Backup is on the way. Need an ambulance? You think? Yeah, send the ambulance just in case. What do you mean just in case? I I'm sending it. Okay, Mafia. Uh, I neutralized the first subject, uh, suspect. The guy was yelling something about the Detroit mob. Can you check him out? Check him out for me? How, how are they able to check him out? We don't even know this guy's name. Yeah, sure, I'm checking. He's talking out of his ass. Uh, he's a local troublemaker. Nothing major. Certainly no connections to the, to the people in Detroit. If dispatch could give me information... Any officer... If dispatch could give any officer that information that quick and determine a lie that fast, we would not live in a society that we live in now. What the heck? We live in a crazy superpower town here. By the way, apparently we there was a talk of this robbery in a town a while back. The informant sold it sold it to us. Okay. No solid information, just rumors. Uh well, by the way, the suspect was killed. 1067, the suspect suspect's dead. Copy that. We're sending the coroner. Yeah, all right. You send a coroner before you send an ambulance. Are you out of your damn mind, dude? Dude, this game is all backwards. <laughs> I feel like there's just a few things that are just not not right here. This, and I don't think we would pick up the gun. I, I don't think so. I think this is a crime scene. This is absolutely a crime scene. I don't know if we'd be picking up the gun, but I, I did anyways. Is there another person anywhere? I'm scared. I, I Like, my health... I, is a little low. I will admit. I feel like I need to go back to the. <laughs> Hang on, everybody in the grocery store. Hang on, Bob. I gotta go back to the uh, to the cruiser. I gotta go bandage myself real quick. These guys are still yanking it on each other about this friggin' fender bend. You guys are ridiculous, honestly. Okay, let's get in. Uh, yeah, give me a first aid. I need to apply first aid to myself <sighs> since backup doesn't show up in this town. It's not like we're living in a rural area. Look around. We're looking. We're in Detroit. A Apparently, there should be, like, officers on every block. I still don't have backup. All right, we're going in. Somebody is in the bathroom that we have been told. Let's go into the bathroom and see what happens. Uh, sir, I... I'm so sorry. Um... Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. It's almost like a horror game. A new clue was obtained. Closed restroom door. Right. Uh, can we, like, I don't know, knock on it? Neutralize the threat. So, there, apparently, there still is somebody else. Should I pull out the... 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 the, the um... The shotgun again, or should I just stick with the GAT? Your standard police issued Glock 19? I don't know. Um, yo, there's a man with a gun. <laughs> Why am I surprised? I am not. Okay, we're gonna creep this though. We're gonna creep this. We're gonna get the better. We're gonna get the better edge on this gentleman here. Okay, this is not the better edge. This is blocking every side of myself here. Uh, all right, let's go this way. Hey, look at this. The dog food. I've sold that in uh, Trader Life Simulator. And that too. Very well. They're using the same assets. I like it. <laughs> There's a lot of new... There are a lot of the same assets from Trader Life Simulator working here. Yo. Okay. Sir? Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Right now. Right now. Put the gun... Doghouse? Quickly. I'm going to count to three. And then I'm going to shoot your tail off. Again, with the dog stuff. I'm not a dog. Okay, put the gun down. Don't do anything stupid. Good. Okay, I shoot. Okay, okay, very well. Very well. Very well. You go first. I go first. We all go first. Okay, so first thing I do is I go like this, and I fire first, and I miss. 
you're a terrible shot. You go for it again, you hit him once. Great, good job. Now, um, I don't even know how to like move positions. Uh oh, this isn't good. Um, this is definitely not good. Let's pull out the shotgun again. We don't miss with the shotgun. That's a hit and the fight is over and the man is dead. Report that to HQ dispatch all the way. Dispatch, a second suspect is now killed. Uh, 1067, another suspect down. Copy that. Coroner's on the way. All right, that's going to be, yeah, our thing now. Give me, give me this. That is not yours anymore. Good man. Sorry. That is not yours. Okay. Yo. Sir, put your hands up. Oh, you have your hands tied. Can't do that. All right. Are you all right, sir? Hello. How are you? I see you're hurt. I am. First aid kit on the wall by the door. Use it, then we'll talk. You are so considerate. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were just going to sit there tied up until I <sighs> used the first aid kit, but good to Looks know. Looks like you're saving my life. Looks like it is. You. You're welcome. I know. It's a wonderful day, right? There's a couple dead people in, in, uh, you know, in the grocery aisle, but hey, we're saving your life, Joe. You fuck. Okay. Uh, you work here? I'm the store manager. Right. Now I understand. Uh, you're incompetent. <laughs> um, I have information that two or three people are responsible for this mess. Two of them are off the hook. And the third? What do you mean off the hook? Because they're dead? Are you hurt? No, I I'm fine. I got punched in the face by the boss of this gang. Oh, but, all right. But I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll live. I'm glad that you can take a punch, Joe. I just don't know what they wanted okay they came by made a fuzz they didn't even touch the cash so it's not about the money is it question joe are any of these uh people like disgruntled employees that you might have fired in the past um no cash right they didn't come here for cash they came here for vengeance the ambulance is on its way maybe it would be better if you took a if someone took a look at you really i'm fine okay fine um, I have information. Okay, yeah, we'll do this off the hook thing. The head of the whole party. He's locked himself in the warehouse. Great. Who knows what he's looking for in there? Great. Great. Um, how do I get there? As you walked through the store, did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room? You can go through them. I did. This one here also leads to the back room, but the key's gone. I don't have it, and I don't think Richard has it as well. Who the hell is Richard? Okay, and the big ones? Yes, yes. There you go. Just be careful, huh? The guy was sharp. Sharp? What are you talking about? Uh, do you recognize the attackers? Have you seen them before? I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never made any problems. So maybe a disgruntled, not a disgruntled employee, but maybe a disgruntled customer of some sort? What's going on here? I heard him on the phone talking about some kind of pickup. Don't ask me what, because I have no idea, but right. the thing was supposed to be in our warehouse. We don't have anything there except what's on our shelves. Oh, somebody doing drugs out of this place? Yeah, drugs? You ask me, I'll ask you. Uh, maybe? What else is there? I'm sure someone's supposed to pick this up. That's all I know. You're running a drug pin here, aren't you, Joe? You know about this, and you've been robbed. And they did it in broad daylight. <laughs> All right, sir, I won't bother you Thank again. Thank you very much again. If it, if it weren't for you... Joe, you're a suspect. This is why you're a suspect. You possibly know that there could be drugs here, or there's something here. And you were not killed. You were just tied up and left to be. Get the hell out of here. No way. This is my store and my people. I'm responsible for them. There's nobody in here, Joe. Joe, you're good to go. I... Hold the gat on him. Okay, close. All right, so we got to go back to the double doors where apparently there's a maniac. Can I have, like, my other gun out? Like, why can't I be having my non-lethal here? I mean, this is a very lethal situation, right? This is the double doors. Sir, you doing here? Put the gun down, dude. That lady just ran. Uh, what are you doing here? What, what do you think I'm doing here? I'm a cop. You're losing ground, Morgan. Um, your people are out of my hair. You want to talk to me like a human being and trying to end this 
farce without bloodshed? What a very weird thing to say to somebody who has a gun. <laughs> you make me laugh so hard, I'm gonna listen to what you have to say. Okay, I am afraid about what I'm about to say. Um, let's see here. Robbing a store for a fast buck? No. Uh, what is this? The Detroit Mafia. The first suspect we met was screaming about the Detroit Mafia or Detroit mob missing information, missing information. Robbing a store for a fast buck. Uh, the witnesses reported that the rumors were going around in the city about robbing the supermarket for some time. Not a cent was taken out of any store. We know from the witnesses that the suspect in a phone call arranged for someone to pick up the goods from the warehouse. It was rumored that the whole city knew about all this for, for some time now. It's interesting from whom, as only I knew everything about it. Are you sure about that? Anyway, a really stupid plan to break into a supermarket. Man, what are you talking about? Doesn't it surprise you that we didn't take a dime? Or that I came to this warehouse for a reason? I don't see you getting promoted to detective. I agree. I also know that you made an appointment with someone to pick up stuff in the back of the warehouse. Don't make me laugh with this speculation. Um, right. So he did not like that. Uh, this is going to end very bad. We're going to end in a, in a, just a gunplay, dude. Uh, the Detroit Mafia sound anything for you? One of your guys right before he started shooting at me was yelling about the Detroit mob. What? What did he yell? What are you talking about? Yeah, all right. Here we go. Bloodshed it is. First you made me laugh, and now you pissed me off. I don't like it. The price for that is a bullet in the head. We'll see about that there, Frank. Okay, um, first things first, I pull out the shotgun. And then I shoot you. No problem. Now, this guy is actually like a boss. He has like more health here. So, reloading weapons. Don't forget to reload your weapons. Okay, very good. Uh, no ammunition. No ammunition. Did I use all my, all my gat? Okay, reload. There we go. Reload. Fire away. That absolutely missed. I might I might lose this confrontation. Oh my god, I might lose this confrontation. Um Uh I should be going to cover. I really should. That was a great hit. I gotta learn how to like move into another piece of cover. I gotta look into the controls because I'm not sure what the hell's going on there. All right, we'll pick up the gun. Gun is secured. Let's go ahead and call dispatch. Dispatch, a third suspect has been killed. 1067, another suspect's dead. We'll send a corner on the way. Thank you very much. Okay, information of uh, of, of reports of, of possibly anything. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, cocaine, right? Some blow here. I don't know. Report that. Uh, drugs. Uh, I found a couple of packages of some crap. In the store's warehouse. White powder probably for sale. The police officer wouldn't refer that to dispatch as crap. Dispatch would respond to you, what the hell did you just say to me? Secure what you can. Forensics will take care of the rest. Okay. So we have that. We're still looking for like a child, aren't we? Hello? Door closed. Okay. What do we have here? Anything here? Anything else? Double doors? Door closed. Okay. All right. Okay. We're, like, actually a superhero cop, though, because we, like, took down, like, three suspects. Right? We're, like, the greatest cop of all time. I have to say we are. Reload the gat. Still got to, like, learn how to actually... Oh, I think that was the girl. I think the girl that ran out, that must have been the daughter. I see. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just get out of here, then. Is that... Was that your daughter, Allison? Hello? I know. I should probably put the gun away, right? When I'm outside. Uh... Save my baby. Uh, uh oh, is she still in there? Collect three packs of drugs. No, no, no. Go back to your police. No, 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 no. We need it. We need. We need to get into here. Yeah, restrooms. This must be where she's at. Does anybody have a key on them? I hate to check the dead, but <laughs> oh god, jump. No, you can't jump in this game. Hey, hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Do you have a Do you have a key on you, Mr. Store Manager? Do you have a key on you by any chance, my good man? Is it over? It's over. Yeah, you're safe now. Your people are outside of the store. You can go out to them. <sighs> yes, of course. Thank you. But first, I, I think I need to cool off. Yeah, go cool off outside. Not into the back room where the cocaine was. How about you do that? Okay, let, let's see here. Get the hell out of here, Joe. 
Go. All right, Joe. All right, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. Is there... Hello? Any... Any... Oh, my God. Sir? Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. He's tied up. What is he doing? Sir? Another dead civilian? Hello? You're a real hero. Thanks, Richard. So? <laughs> Can you move your ass out of here now? Uh, what? Um, do you have the key to the restroom? Wait, sir. I got it. I got it. Here you go, sir. This is so I weird. We have most of the keys to the locks in the store. How do I know that? And so, how was I supposed to ask can you, you that? Move your ass out of here now? Yeah. How about you move your ass out of here? You need to go just straight to the exit. No extra stops. Attack or, attack or neutralize. Get out of here. The hell's wrong with you, dude? Why is he telling me to act, like move my ass? He should be moving his ass. All right, so now, is, do we have the key now for this this bathroom? Yes. Great job. Open. Hello. Yo. Okay. Excuse me. Leave me alone. Please it's okay. Leave me alone. Listen, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, hey, hey, take it easy there. It's a badge. I'm a police officer. Come on. He was shooting at me. He was. I ran away, but I was so scared. You ran away? It's okay. You were brave enough to run away. Um, you can... But he's gone. He's done. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You're safe now. Your mother's waiting for you outside the store. Mom? She yes. ran away? Yeah, she oh, left you good. here. Can I go to her now? Yeah. And then have a conversation with her and tell her, like... It's not okay to leave your child in the grocery store when people are shooting it up. Make sure to tell her that because I'm very disappointed in your mom. Yeah, go see your mom. Give me some help. <sighs> what the heck, dude? Anything else that we need to worry about here? Anybody, any, like, any stalls? Anybody hiding? We should probably secure the, whoa! Secure the entire place, right? Okay, that's closed. Okay, anything over here? Anybody hiding out? No, we're okay. Okay. We're secured. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. Um, still no backup. F me, right? Yeah. Still no backup. We're in the middle, like, the heart of Detroit. No backup. One cop. One cop only. Oh, hello. Allison. Thank you so much. I was so scared for her. I really... Yeah, no problem. So don't... Much. Don't go away yet. We're gonna need you to test... Need your testimony. Of course. Those bastards will have to pay for this. Well, I mean, honestly, they're all dead, so I don't know what we need your testimony for. But uh, unless this guy, hey, unless this guy has something to do with it. Hero. All right, thank you, Richard. Um, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and like radio back to um HQ. Report another dead civilian. Uh, I got another dead one here. What the hell is wrong with this backup? Where's the goddamn ambulance? Yeah, I know everything's over. There was an accident on the main road to your place. The road's blocked for good. They're, they're looking for a detour. It, it, oh, the incompetence here. Then look, them. Then let them look faster. I got some good shit here. What is wrong with us? Don't be an idiot. Don't resist. And for God's sake, don't play the hero. This conversation is over. <laughs> wow. Um. So hey, fender benders, do you guys need to like talk about this? What happened out there? I don't think anybody's gonna, you know, not gonna shoot me, huh? Well, you'd be surprised. Relax, everything's under control. Uh, shall we clean up your mess, gentlemen? Don't worry about it anymore. We made a deal, and everything's fine. All right, you idiots. You actual wait, idiots. Wait, wait, wait. We'll talk. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, Captain, are you here? Where'd you show up in? I don't see your cruiser. I went through your file, and I know everything, Price. You're here looking for a brother who disappeared a while back, right? I guess I am thrown into this plot. <laughs> Look, I don't usually get involved in stuff like this, but focus on the job, huh? I, I thought I was doing a good job there, David Schwimmer. I'm giving you good advice, Price. Give it a rest. There are people working on it. You know that rule about a surgeon not cutting on himself? Yeah, seriously, let it go. Right, okay. Well, thank you for that. When you're done here, get your ass to the police station. Hey, not like good job. Not like good job for 24-7 Safeway where we potentially took out, well, we did, not potentially. 
We absolutely just took out three gunmen, um, saved some lives, um, it, all done with myself, by myself, no backup. Do you see backup here, David Schwimmer? No, you don't. So don't give me attitude. Complete the mission, continue the mission. I guess complete the mission because our captain here is kind of being a dick. Uh, find other people in the store, get them out when it's safe. We did not do that. Collect three packs of drugs. We did not do that. Uh, suspects, suspects killed. Three out of three. Penalty for that. Really? 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 God. Keep going. Good evening, America. Here's the news. Uh, robbery of a local supermarket. The situation was contained by one police officer and one police officer only. As a PR spokesman for the local police told us yesterday's situation at the supermarket was the result of, quote, they play these games, they watch Netflix, and then everyone thinks they can be like the, that Danny Ocean or another John Dillinger. I'm a... I'm from a media band, and, I, and I'll vote for it. That really lost its sauce there. In the local top news, a police officer, a hero to a mom and her daughter. The girl hid in the restroom during the incident at the store. The young officer who, officer who arrived on scene first did his best to get the child safely back to her mom. As he himself admitted in an interview with us, I was afraid that I would have to carry her out of there in my arms. She was way bigger than I thought she would be. City report, uh, police incompetence. The policeman lost a witness to the incident. He promised to come back. Oh, fucking Bob, dude. Bob. I, Bob. He made me spend three nights in that damn supermarket. Testifies a lost witness. The officer himself declined to comment on the matter. Dude, Bob. You idiot. You actual idiot. God damn it, dude. Okay, cool. So, all right. Wonderful. Let's go to another. Hostage at the station or a stalker at the motel. Let's go to the, the stalker at the motel. I'm, I'm in for that. I'm, I'm, I think that sounds a little spicy. I'm in for it. Does everything have to result in gun violence? Hopefully not. Hopefully that's what the stalker in the night is all about. So here we are. Um, we are here at the motel, Hotel Holiday Inn. Um... Uh, yeah, reports is stalker seen at the Motel San Andrino. Report is Thomas Jones suspected of stalking his therapist. Oh, my God. Is it a psyche therapist or is it a sex therapist? <laughs> Which one are we talking about here? Was seen in the area motel. The suspect should be brought to police headquarters for questioning. Involved in this incident? One person. All right. Thomas. We're talking to Thomas. Is this Thomas? Sir. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Excuse me, sir. I see someone already called for you. Yeah. What the hell is your name? Boris? What's going on here? I don't know, but I hear loud screams a loud couple. crying. From some motel room, I think. Okay. I thought it might be a typical husband wife brawl. You know, the food wasn't to his liking or something. But then I remember that two women have been kidnapped in the area. Uh, Boris, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, when a husband and a wife fight, I don't think it has to do with the food of it not his liking. I think there's a little bit more of a deeper root there. Honestly, Boris. Um, are you married, Boris? I'm glad someone called you. You better check it out. Right, thank you. Appreciate you. Missing students? Do you know which room they were in? I don't know for sure, but I think it's more like the other end of the building. Where is your room at? I'll have to look into the situation. Thank you, Boris. I hope I don't need to, like, use my gun here. Maybe, like, shut the car door, right? <laughs> Can I shut the... Okay, I can't. There we go. All right, we'll shut the car door. Um, we got to go talk to the motel owner. Oh, we can look inside. This is kind of spicy. Hello? Nobody in there? Nobody in there? Blinds are closed. Hey, hi, hi how are you? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. Is it? Monica? Is something wrong? Um, can I just have... Have you heard anything or seen anything out of the ordinary crying, screaming, etc.? I think the walls in this motel are made of paper. You can hear everything through them. Okay, right. The guy in the next room is snoring awfully loud. Okay. Um, I'm asking about something really disturbing, though, like something specific. Yes, I'm sorry, sir. I heard. Okay. A woman crying, I think. Some guy was yelling at her really loud. Okay, do you know where that was? 
Uh, did you get any specifications or any specifics from the yelling? Did you know why they were yelling and what room they might be in? I think it was from upstairs somewhere. More like from the side of the bar, because they were really loud. Oh, okay. Monica, you have definitely made it clear that they are very loud. <laughs> I just heard this guy keep saying things like, You don't respect me. You don't understand anything. This depression is because of you. If you treat me as half a man, then you'll see. It seemed like a normal marital argument, but this woman was really crying a lot. Yeah, so Boris, it had nothing to do because the prime rib wasn't cooked to his perfection. I see now. Right, a new clue was obtained depression because of his wife. Thank you, ma'am. It's best if you stay in your room. I don't know if it's safe to stay outside. Oh, yes, I see. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Go ahead and just like... Well, no, I... Right, just continue to stay outside, even though I just told you to stay, go inside. Hello, sir. How are you? Who are you? Oh, good evening. Are you all right? I'm, I'm doing all right. Are you doing all right, Paul? Uh, did you hear anything disturbing around in the motel? No, not particularly. I actually just got here, so... Okay, well, no screaming, no crying? No, nothing really. Okay, all right. Well, that's all. Thank you, Paul. Hey, ma'am, stay in there. Don't ever come out. I almost opened up her window. <laughs> Okay, is this the, is this the, hello, are you the, are you the, you must be the hotel owner. Yeah, you must be the hotel owner. I'm coming in with you, good man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Levi. Why are you questioning my guests? Levi, look here. You're in the business of hospitalization, right? Hospi hospitality, hospitality, sorry. That's your business. When you see a police officer come up and to you, at your place of business, you might not want to be so standoffish. Maybe there's something going on that you don't know. Uh, maybe it's a good thing that the police are here to help out with your guest. Because apparently there's something going on that you have no idea about that is could be very bad. Uh, hospitalization, man. Or not hospitalization. I've been playing a lot in Project Hospital. Hospitality, my, my good man. Uh, good morning, sir. Great. Another price. You're going to bring me bad luck, too? Do you know my brother? Uh, what are you talking about? Was there anyone here with the same name? A man? Yeah, there was this guy. That's me, my brother. Jack Bryce. I took pity on him because he was broke. What? Let him spend the night here on the couch. That must have been my brother. For free. But the bastard, before he ran off first thing in the morning, lifted my phone and all the cash I kept here. Oh, okay. Lesson for me, huh? I, it, you know, I, I, I might, I might, but I'm not really, I, we're kind of getting sidetracked here, Levi. I know you don't know where he is now, do you? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Okay. I can't help you. Don't ask any of the other guests either, because I'm sure none of them saw him. Right. Okay, well, let's get back to the case. Um, Thomas Jones, does this name ring a bell? Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I know who that is. Okay. Uh... Did he cause any problems? He got drunk, made a ruckus in the pub next door. Okay. He came to me and threatened to get my daughter if I talked to the police. He's a fucking freak. Okay. I didn't care that much for his talk, but you know, he made my blood boil a little. I understand. Uh, what, what room can I find him in? Room one on the first floor. One on He sits the there first all floor. day. I don't think he goes outside. This is this is interesting. It's interesting because people said up in the second floor, right? There was some ruckus, and now we're looking for this specific person. I saw that he came in with some woman. Either that's his wife, or well, you understand. Could be a, could be a mistress, could be a prostitute. I don't know. Besides the room he's in, he's paid for another one. He gave a big bonus, so I didn't go into why he needed two. Rooms. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's confirm the details confirm then. It. I have his personal information. I took it off his ID. Okay. Right. Uh, apart from the fact that he was a troublemaker and threatened you, can you tell me anything about more of him? I don't think so. I'm just waiting for him to check out. These guys are more trouble than good. Okay. Uh, I need to get to this man. I need to get this man to the police station. Give me the access code to this room. Why wait a sec. Whoa. Whoa. Why do we need to get, like, this man to the police station? We don't know what's going on. I'm not but I'll say it anyways. Because he's obviously got a lot on his plate. Get him out of here. The code's 14452. 14452. Do I need to remember that? Tell me more. Yes. Uh, I have information from one of the motel guests that he heard screaming and crying 
like someone was abusing a woman. Any idea who and what that room might be? Um, you know this is a motel, right? A cheap motel. It's where people come to do all kinds of weird shit and yell a little bit. Right. Okay, right, okay. That, that's that's all for now. Good, thank you, sir. Jesus Christ. Let's report that to uh, dispatch here. Dispatch, uh, I've arrived on scene. <laughs> kind of past that uh, the guy was being treated for depression but went off on his meds and therefore according to his therapist the mood swings he insisted that she was the only one who understood him beginning to stalk her okay i see suspects data uh dictating suspects personal information give me anything you can to dig up on him you know what now thinking about it we were here for a stalker issue not for a domestic violence issue now huh now there's all different kinds of things being thrown around here uh, we don't have a file on him. I don't think he's ever done anything wrong in the past. He never even got a speeding ticket. Well, he's effed in the head now. Thanks, over and out. <laughs> Information has been reported. So this is Fast Food Haven? It's a car here? Can I go in here? I can. Oh, hello. Yes? What Jake. Is um, Jake from State Farm. That's what I'm trying to determine. I'll ask you a few questions. Do you if mind? You must. Uh, today, yesterday, the last few days, any disturbing events during that what time? What exactly are you asking? I just asked you. Has there been any disturbing events that happened in the last couple of days? Your clients, none of them have been acting strangely, suspiciously, no senseless bras? Other than some drunk and fooling around. Nothing important. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, yeah, Thomas Jones, do you recognize the man? He's staying at the motel next door. I hear he's been giving you problems. Don't even remind me. He came in with his wife, but they don't seem to be getting along very well. I think, you know, he's got a heavy hand. He usually orders food to the room. They keep referring to him as his wife, um, which if he should be a the therapist, right? He drank a lot and spilled his guts. He was telling me how fucked up his life is. But even if it is his therapist, there isn't really like a stalking issue, right? Because it seems like she's willing to uh, like invite him to dinner, invite him to... Uh, back to his room. What the hell is going on here? When was it exactly and what did he say? Do you remember? About two days ago. I remember that someone on TV was talking about the disappearance of these two girls in the neighborhood. Terrible thing. Right. What did he say? First, he hurled at his father the accusation that because of his financial scams, they had lost their house and their life savings. They were left with nothing. Mm. Then the old man ended up in jail. I think. That very thing. Left the kids and the wife with nothing. Mm. What else? talked a lot about some doctor a therapist i think who he was obviously in love with she wasn't necessarily in love with him he said it was his wife's fault and he had to pay for it i remember rather well that's interesting okay yeah. anything else uh no i guess that's all um you said jones is ordering food to his room right now tonight yeah the kitchen's in the middle of cooking his order okay i want jones to pick it up as soon as i call him oh all right i understand yeah. thank you anything else uh thank you for your information Will you call him right now and tell him his, his food is ready to be picked up? I'm going to call my dispatch here and question about the wife. So I have a suspicion that Jones is abusing his wife. Check her medical records and see if there's anything. Sure, I'll check. Wait a minute. I got a uh, good thinking. It uh, looks like it's not the first time she's been to the ER a few times. Uh, contusions, bruises, uh, hemat <laughs> hematomas, uh, tomas. She didn't have it easy. Right. No notified in the police? Nothing, nothing at all. I guess their neighbor neighbors reported brawls at their house because the address matches, but she never accused her husband of anything. We even talked to her once, but she insisted it wasn't him. She's either naive, naive, naively, naively understanding or terrified. Naive. Okay. All right. I don't know if I read that correctly. Um, check the back. Why am I checking the bathrooms, honestly? At least we know there's a first aid kit here. Why am I in the bathroom in, in the janitor's closet? I'm so sorry. I know. I'm a terrible cop. There's another first aid. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you there, buddy old pal. I got to go to the first floor on room one, apparently. This is room two. Wait. Th wait. This would be room one? If this is room... Wait a sec. Maybe the guy messed up. He's not on the first floor. He's on the second floor, right? And this is the keypad. Yeah, I think the dialogue messed up because we're not on the first floor. We're on the second floor. Um, we need a we need a note, right? We have the key to one room, or we have the code. Yeah, 
What's the code? Uh, code, code, code. Key to one room. Uh, personal information. Room number one. Uh, yeah, look at right there. Room number one. The suspects rented a room number one on the motel's first floor. I don't think that's what it is. That's wrong. Um. Yeah, yeah, we know. Uh, sir. We should have this. Yo. Excuse me? Sir, do you have a gun? Sir, put the gun down. Put the gun down. Put the gun down right now. Hey. Put it down. Put it down. Can I tase his ass? I cannot tase his ass. Oh my god, this guy has a gun. Sir? Call him out. Just take it easy. No sudden movements. Put the gun down and let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, sure. Why should I talk to you? Because I'm a police officer. Because I might be your last chance. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay, let's see here. Echoes of a difficult childhood caused depression. Uh, he's obsessed with his victim. Uh, he's already hurt a few girls in his life. Well, we don't know about that, do we? The wife keeps giving him one last chance. And then he takes his frustration with himself in life out on his wife. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, I feel like all of these things are going to piss him off. Uh, echoes a difficult childhood. Let's do that. I don't want to, but it's, it's too late, okay? It's not too late to undo this. All of this. It's not. What are you talking about? A father is a father. He wanted too much, and he got nothing. This has nothing to do with me. Okay, the, the hostage must survive, so that, that's our key here. Okay, you transferred your childhood disappointment onto your wife. You beat her, take it out on her. If a judge asks you why you did what you did, will you say because you had a rough childhood? My childhood has nothing to do with it. Cut the crap. I've had enough of you. I'm sick okay. of everything. I'm gonna fuck you all up. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all right, all right. Are you all right, dog? Yeah? Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. He's obsessed with his victims. No. He's already hurt a few girls, right? I'm going with the ones that have the less non-misinformation. So you've got no control. You're overstepping your bounds. Uh, I know you threatened a motel or an owner that you'd hurt his daughter. Are you out of your mind? Such a bonus in your file and you get life. Such a bonus in your file and you get life? Um, This is not a good negotiation tactic here, my good man. Calm down. I wouldn't hurt a child. The little one was my, let's call it a policy. That's all. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, did you hear about those students who disappeared without a trace a few days ago? What did you do with them? Don't even pretend you had nothing to do with it. Okay, that... Look, we have not even, like... Like, I don't know how to negotiate. Like, this is not a good negotiation tactic at all. Especially when, like... If things were to settle, we would have to, like, read them as Miranda rights. You know what I mean? Because I had nothing to do with it. Back off, huh? Yeah, we're just making the situation worse here. The bartender says that when those two girls disappeared, you were ordering your 15th round. How much did you give him? Uh, don't you understand that sooner or later you're gonna blurt it all out? Two girls, dead or alive, plus the gig today? You're in deep shit? It gets worse the longer this goes on? What? What the fuck are you talking about? I know! I don't know what I'm talking about either! It wasn't me. Shut the fuck up! I agree! I, You know, Thomas, you're kind of sounding more and more convincing. Yeah, look at that. All the way down. What the hell are we talking about? The wife gives keeps giving him one last chance. We'll do that one. Your, your, your wife may have given you one last chance over and over again up until now, but after this stint, forget it. She won't cover you anymore. Not anymore. You've, dude, loves me. Every, she will forgive everything. everything we've told this man is destructive. He takes his frustration out with himself and light. I mean, what else do I have to lose, right? Depression is a tricky beast. I know you're sick. I also know what you've been, uh, you've been skipping therapy not taking your meds uh you're not yourself and you're not thinking straight uh, this is a little bit better you understand me spare me i don't want to hear it 
Uh, your wife's been in the hospital a couple of times because of you. Her file is big. Broken ribs, fractured skull. We, that didn't come out in the report that we got. Internal bleeding. You had no mercy. You took your rage out on her. You think I don't know that? You think that I didn't regret it? She's pegged my sick head. Maybe it's not fair, but such is life. Okay. All right, so hey, we're getting him closer to the blue, but I still don't know what the hell this is all about. Obsessed with his victims. I know you expected something different, that she kicked you out. You felt like someone kicked you in the balls. What the hell are we talking about? But I don't believe you want to hurt her. It's not too late. Put the gun down. We'll find a way out. What's the way out? There's no way out. No way out. Uh, you think you're the only one who feels misunderstood and rejected? You scared the shit out of the woman by coming into her life? You know what they do to people like you in prison? Do you really want to end up like that? I don't want to. Dude, this is terrible writing. I'm sorry. If this game is supposed to be, like, serious about police work, this is not how someone would negotiate this. This is not good writing to, to make it have that immersion realism. I'm, I'm losing immersion based off of just how this how this is like like written out it is i'm losing my immersion dude yeah we 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 we've got him to calm down we can end the negotiation and arrest him but honestly i don't even know what i've done all right i don't feel like i've done a damn thing honestly um radio with this in suspect neutralized i guess neutralized 1076 suspect has been neutralized no suspect has not been neutralized that's another wrong thing you wouldn't like you wouldn't say suspect has been neutralized suspect is in custody suspect neutral okay there's blood put your hands behind your back put your hands behind your back right now put your hands behind your back suspect is in custody suspect has been detained suspect not neutralized <laughs> okay you have chains blood are you okay? This it's must over. be the wife. Is it over? Have you taken care of him? He's. It's over. You're safe now. Tell me what's going on with the other woman. Thomas kidnapped that therapist. Of oh. His. He said he was keeping her somewhere close. He's probably in the other room. I've been looking into her, but I don't know if she's at the motel or somewhere else. You have to find her. I will. I will. Relax. I'll find her. Don't worry. Just calm down. Okay. All right. Y you can leave though if you would like. Like you can get the hell out of here. Uh, let's radio that in. Hostage is safe. Hello, headquarters. Uh, I was able to find and secure the uh, rescue the hostage. I was able to enter the room where Jones was holding his wife. She is now safe and sound. Good job. All right. What the heck is going on here? Is there any, like, evidence I could pick up here? Sir, what do you have to say for yourself? I know my rights. I won't say anything. Okay, good for you. All right. Um, where is the other woman? I'm not saying another word without a lawyer. Okay, look, we're going to find her eat anyway, with or without your help. You want to get yourself a longer sentence? Go ahead. Basically, do you want to get more charges added, I guess? Fuck you. Okay, right. He just told me to F off politely. Okay, all right. Well, you know, we're going to go find this woman. This woman should be anywhere. Is she in there? No, that's part of the room that we were just in. She's not in there. Uh, Probably not in there. Not in there. Hell, not even in there. Is she in there? Okay, well, I I'll be honest with you. I did not realize that there was, like, this much open space here. Oh, whoa, okay. I'm telling you, man. She's somewhere. Hey, what is this? Oh, my God. Are you okay? Laura? Oh. At last. I was so afraid that crazy man would leave me here. I'm on it. We have no backup, but I'm always on it. Are you all right? I have a few bruises, but it's, it's nothing serious. And he, Thomas, how is he? You're worried about him? Uh, he's no longer a threat to anyone. He, you're safe? And his wife, is she all right? She is absolutely all right. Please get out of the truck. Just be careful. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well, there we go. All right, awesome. We did it. Nice. We completed the stalker. What happened to be a freaking nutcase? Kidnapped his therapist and beat his wife. And potentially wanted to kill his wife. What a hell of a day here at Stalker Motel City. Yeah, complete the mission indeed. Get me the hell out of here. My God, this episode has gone off long enough. Um, 
There we go. And now for the news. And now for the news. Do you need to relax while traveling or maybe to hide from the police because you have a guilty conscience? It's a new ad for a motel where two kidnapped women were held not long ago. One of them was the kidnapper's psyche, uh, psych, psychotherapist. Uh, we do not recommend this motel, according to the source. In a place like this, you never know what kind of psycho may be staying in the room next door. In other news, police officer nominated as local Herlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. In an interview with the editor's office, office witnesses unanimously reported that the policeman who arrived on the scene was as thorough in his investigation as a, quote, perfect housewife in, his, in this white glove test. One of the motel guests added, we need more capable office, police officers like this one in our city. He knew exactly what to ask. It was like someone had programmed in advance. Anyways, that's going to do in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this prologue look at of Police Shootout. Anyways, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that may be. And do as always, take care. <laughs>